Hi guys, I just thought we'd do a quick review of the, the Pica automatic pencil. Um, this is, I'm fairly new to these, but I've, I, I use them uh, on nearly every bag that I have now, and uh, most of my toolboxes. And I've got a selection of them here. Um, so basically, it's a. We'll move these out of the way. It's basically a pencil, an automatic pencil, as you can see, which is held tightly in this shroud. Uh, the shroud is a really good clip um, that, that fits nicely onto a bag. Um, I'll just show you that now. Okay, so first off, uh, this this is a tip, typically where I would t uh, keep my Pica pencils. Um, you know, you've got a really nice uh, housing here which clips securely into these pockets on the Vito bags. Um, the, what I do like about these are highly visible. Um, so you always know where your pencil is or your marker, you know, whenever you need it. You know, a downside in the past for me is when you're carrying typical carpenter's pencils like these, you know, they're in pockets, uh, they're mislaid all the time, you know, they could be, get damaged, you know, because they're not protected in any way. And um, this is just a far better solution for me. Um, you know, just on the, on the portability of them. Um, and not losing them, basically. Yeah, so here's a shroud, highly visible, highly secure in the pocket. And the pencil just pulls out. Like this, so here's a, a Pica pencil here. So we've talked about the first okay, so positive, uh, which is the fact that you know, this securely clips onto the side of a bag, you know, even a pair of overalls or, you know, work trousers or anything like that. Uh, the second benefit for me is, if we pull this out, uh, is the actual narrow neck of the pencil. Um, basically, this allows you to do, you know, mark through deeper holes. Uh, I'll just demonstrate that now, uh, what I mean. Okay, so we've got a standard bit of timber here. Uh, Basically a four by two bit of timber. Um, you can see the thickness there. You know, if you can imagine a scenario where this had to be fitted up against a plasterboard wall, for instance, and you wanted to mark, you know, through this hole. You know, typically you would have a pencil, a carpenter's pencil, on you like this, and obviously that's absolutely useless. So trying to get them through the hole, you know, to mark. So, but with the Pica pencil, uh, you can see the difference here. You know, straight through the hole, you can see it protruding through the other side there. Um, so that is another benefit to these pencils. I haven't actually measured the length of this, but it's roughly, well, the timber's 50 mil, so this is roughly probably 60 millimeters. Uh, there, so that's a, a big benefit, you know, it's a deep hole marker, basically. Okay, the next benefit of this pencil is the built in pencil sharpener on the end of this you know to sharpen if you, you know if your lead gets dull uh, you just press the button I don't know if that's focusing um, certain the sharpener turn I don't know if you can see that you can get pull out and you get a really decent sharp point and this is all built into the holder so it's ideal you know as opposed to, uh, you know, when I used to use carpenter's pencils, you know, you're having to carry about the actual specialised sharpener, you know, for these. Um, again, a tiny little item like this tends to get lost, broken, you know, mislaid, uh, so, you, so you lose it. Um, then you have to revert to the old Stanley knife, you know, try to uh, sharpen these pencils, which can be a pest, you know. So, yeah, huge benefit. Sharpen on the end, uh, easily sharpens that. Um, perfect solution. Okay, so uh, the lead that's contained within these pencils, it's just a single piece of lead, you can see that. Um, it's a fair length. Uh, you do actually buy uh, refill packs of these, which I'll show you now, which are here. So you can buy the refills in these handy packs. Uh, keep these in your bag, your toolbox. Um, so you're never going to be short of lead, you know, for the pencil. Um, to insert the lead back into the pencil, you just 
hold down on the button. Push it on the end. Keep keep your finger hold held down the button, uh, and then release the button. Uh, that lead solid. Obviously, to extend the lead. Just push the button like so. To get it back in, hold the button in. Push it back. That's perfect. Okay, so obviously in this pencil, it's just a standard graphite lead here. Um, but one of the main reasons I I use these now is because Pika actually do a pack of interchangeable leads in different colours, um, which can be used in other pencils. So typically, I would use this one for any carpentry work that I'm doing woodwork. So it would just pretty much stay with the lead in it. Um, but I do have others, as um, you know, I have a, a pencil in my plumbing bag, uh, one on my tiling, you know, one on general maintenance. Um, so I do tend to set these up with different leads in them, uh, geared towards the jobs that I, I use them for. Um, I'll run through some items that you can mark with these leads now and where they're, where they're useful. Uh, and hopefully you'll see what I mean. Yeah. Where I would use these uh, leads is mainly tiling. Um, I'm just in a quick mock up here. This is a, just a gloss ceramic tile. Um, just in a quick mark on there. Um, just to replicate just a small cutout you would maybe do. Um, but to cut something like this out, you use a wet tile saw. Obviously, sprays water all over the tile. Uh, so, the good thing about these is 100% waterproof. Let's demonstrate that now. You know, so the water, when you're cutting, you know, with a cutting wheel, um, these lines are going to stay clear all the time and you would... makes it a lot easier to cut and see what you're doing. Um, you know, normally I would use... I tend to use Sharpies, you know, when I'm tying on a student, but I do. Uh, but these give you a nice thin line. Uh, easy to follow and then, obviously, in loads of different colours, you know. Obviously, if you've got dark tiles, you can use the white leads, or red, or, you know, yellow, whatever. Uh, that's good. Another benefit of these is I've just done this. If you mark uh, the tile, you know where to be cutting it as a, and you make a mistake, you know, just simply rub that off with your finger. You know, you can rub that line off um, and remark it. Whereas opposed, if you use a sharpie or any sort of, you know, pen like that, um, it's just really difficult to mark to to remove. You know, so just another benefit. So. In my tiling box now, I have a Pika pencil and a bunch of these leads um, at all times, which is helpful. Okay, let's go through some of the items now that these uh, pencils are good for marking. Uh, we've just demonstrated the you know, the white gloss uh, ceramic tile. It's just a grey matte ceramic tile. As you can see, the red and the yellow and the white and what they all show up uh, pretty well, to be honest. So that's ideal for tiling. Um, so that's the two ceramic tiles. Okay, so we've a bit of a just acrylic sheet now. This is just an acrylic wall panel splash back for a kitchen type thing. This is an off cut from an old job I've had, but again, ideal for that. Okay, here's another really uh, useful, you know, everyday scenario. You'd use these. Uh, this is just a uh, PVC waste pipe. You know, plumbing obviously, you know, the pipe often gets wet, you know, so uh, again, these waterproof uh, lines are, are ideal. Um, not really good. I mean, I tend to use Sharpies for this as well, but again, the benefit of these is if you make a mistake, you know, you can just rub that off. Um, with a bit more effort to rub off, but they are waterproof as well, so. Um, Whereas you might have a mark with a sharpie, you try to rub it off, there's no no way of getting that off. So yeah, another benefit. So uh, I would just keep a pica pencil in my plumbing bag uh, with the different leads in it as well. Ideal for this type of work. Okay, another area, this is just a lighter ceramic tile. Uh, this is actually a floor tile. But again, you can see how well, well the pencil marks uh, on there. Fully waterproof, so ideal for cutting in the in the wet tile saw. Perfect for the job. Uh, obviously, I'm uh, <coughs> standard timber. Um, 
obviously 99 times out of 100 you use your, your standard lead, you know, for marking timber. But if, for instance, the, the timber was wet maybe and it was, I don't know, wet conditions, you would maybe use the, the waterproof leads. Uh, but again, just shows you how well the mark on timber. Uh, not ideal. Okay, so what's my thoughts on this pencil? Uh, obviously the good points is the ability to mark holes, you know, a deep hole marker. Uh, obviously uh, the fact that the lead's actually protected uh, within the sheath is is a plus for me. Um, you know, say, you know, other pencils like this quite often get damaged or snapped, you know, the lead snaps or whatever, but this is a good, good containment and a good protection. Uh, another benefit is the colour. may seem silly, but uh, to have a bright, luminous yellow colour is ideal for me. Uh, just, you know, it's just a visual cue to where, where your marker is when you're on the job. Uh, obviously the built-in pencil sharpener at the end. Um, that's ideal. Everything's contained. You don't need to carry the separate sharpener or, you know, faff about with the Stanley knife trying to cut the, the, the end of the pencil. Um, yeah, so another benefit is obviously you can have this uh, pencil, you know, in your bag or toolbox all the time, but you can also carry all the different leads, you know, so if you do change, you know, jobs or change the materials that you're marking on, you've got the ability just to quickly swap, you know, in this pencil as opposed to carrying all the different markers. Um, you know, it's very quick to change, you know, as I've shown before, press the button, pull the lead out, put the other one in. Uh, it's ideal. Uh, let's get that back in. As quickly as that. So, there we are. Uh, that irons a place in all my bags uh, and some of my toolboxes. Okay, guys, well, that's it. That's my <laughs> impression of these uh, Piker pencils. Um, I'll put links in the description. If you scroll down in the description, you'll see links where you can get a hold of one yourself uh, and also the, the spare leads and things. Should you be interested? Um, I haven't, <laughs> this is the first video I've put up in about a month. Uh, I've been really busy with Christmas and stuff, and really busy work-wise. Uh, I do have a lot of footage coming up in the future from you know renovations and stuff I've been doing. Um, I'll do some more tool-type reviews if I can. Uh, it's just I'm obviously finding the time at the moment. But uh, thanks again for watching. And as always, if you like the video, please give the video a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe if you can. Uh, that would be fantastic. It helps me going forward. Um, lets me know that people actually like watching my videos, and I can produce more content in the future. Alright guys, thanks again. Cheers.